All right, let's see what happens on this one. These are the bridge pillars everyone always comes to. Every time we pull up here, there's a boat down here on this end. And I was trying to see if, if there was a reason why, if there were some brush piles or something like that down here. But, you know, I don't think these fish really care a whole lot. There's vertical structure here for them to fish. Uh, so far, they've been here pretty much every single day since mid-August. And they might have been here before that, but the lakes have been flooded so bad I didn't fish this a lot um, but structure wise there's nothing else here besides the vertical temp besides the vertical bridge pylon uh, honestly I really don't think it matters whether you're fishing this one fishing that one or any of those down that line I think it's I think it's all the same thing And the only two did only only thing different about these two are they've been in the sun longer this morning so that was you know the other reason besides seeing if there was some kind of structure on them was to come down and see if um, maybe they're a little better crappie on them because water is actually shallower on this one Might have the biggest of the morning if he'd reel it in instead of pull it in. It's a good fish. high-vis line does make a difference and I'm pretty sure the 10-foot B&M rods a little bit faster on letting us know when we're getting bites let's see it is it stuck somewhere and that feels like a good one too yeah that is a good one when you unhook that one bring it up here let's compare them 